Do you feel insecure and disconnected? Do you feel anxious when you go to talk to other people? You're worried about what to say. You want to make sure that you don't come off offensive or rude, or you're worried about what they might think of you and if you're going to be accepted or good enough. If you do, well, you're not alone. There's a lot of people that feel that way. I felt that way much of my life, and still today, in many instances, I feel that anxiety come up. I feel that discomfort, putting myself in new situations when I'm around new people. And just earlier this week, I was in a conversation with some people, um, a lot of family and friends, and they opened up and we're saying things like, oh, I just feel like I feel awkward when I'm trying to talk to new people and I don't know what to say and it's just really weird. And then I said, you know, <laughs> I felt that too. And then others were saying, no, I feel that too. And we were all feeling the same way with the same thoughts. And as we talked about it, it allowed the walls to come down and for a connection to be had. And so vulnerability is a key point to connection. And so if you're feeling insecure and disconnected, I invite you to be vulnerable. I invite you to go first, to speak first, because as we speak out our insecurities, if we speak out our fears, oftentimes those insecurities and fears lose power because they've been spoken out and now they're in the light where we get to see them. And as others see that, it invites them to also share and by sharing our in insecurities and being vulnerable, it allows us to be connected at a deep level. Now, some people may be more fearful, and so they may throw up walls and push you away because of that. It doesn't mean, though, that they felt the call to be real, to be honest, and to bring their insecurities to light. And so today, I invite you to be real to find at least one person today that you can talk to for real and share how you're truly feeling. What are your deep thoughts? What are you really feeling about yourself and about this life and about your, your relationship with others? Because you are not alone. You are here for a reason. You are a miracle and you have a purpose and your life matters. You matter. And as you allow yourself to be seen, as you allow yourself to truly be you, that is what will attract others to you. Because we all just want to be ourselves. We all just want to be seen and accepted for who we truly are. And so if you can do that, you become a light that attracts others to you because they want that for themselves. And as they get to spend time with you and see how you are you, then that can influence them to be themselves. You do make a difference. You are here for a reason. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being here with me today. Remember, I'm here at Hope to Cope every day, checking in with a message of hope to remind you that you're a miracle, that you have a purpose, and to encourage and invite you to live your life because you are the only one that can live the life that you were born to live. So today, step up, be true, be vulnerable, and be the light that you were born to be. Thank you for being you. I'll see you again soon.